Okay. Hey, what's up? So let's see. Hacking skill. Wall crack. You can eliminate secure firewalls that block your way and continue your progress. The skill has a different levels depending on the resilience of the firewall, and you won't be able to take down a firewall if your wall crack skill level isn't high enough. Can I do it now? Wait, yellow, green, purple. Oh boy. Level 21. Oh my. 4, 3. I don't have it. I can't do it. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, I can. The walls are yellow. And I'm at level 2. Oh, okay, because I thought it was the lock. And the lock came out as something red. Somewhat red. Okay. Okay. It's me. Woo. I finally got through to you. I lost your trace info and had to search again. Where did you wander off to this time? I see, so you ran into Mirei Mikagura. Yeah, you could say we're acquainted. Regardless, for there to have been a natural progression where you would meet her. You seem to have the craziest luck. Let's assume you carried out your original objective. We'll start by... What? You've already broken through the firewall? Well done. You've saved me some time. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, on to our next move. I scanned the area around the entrance to Kowloon and marked key junk data sites. The junk data will serve as your body parts. You may need to go find and retrieve some. It's something of a stopgap measure, and it may not be a perfect solution, but I'm sure your skills are up to the task. This is such a key step to returning your body to normal, so buck up and get to the work. It's okay. Searching for body parts isn't as hard as defeating 48 demons now, is it? What does she mean by that? Think of it as an emergency measure. I look forward to meeting you in your normal body. Digiline. This is a tool for communicating with people who aren't in the same place. You will receive messages. You, you know, I'll let you guys read this for a second. Uh, never mind. Uh... My phone went off, so I thought I'd answer it, but forget about that. Your phone... I mean, you will receive messages from your friends and Digimon in your Digifarms. If a notification appears in the bottom right of your screen, click touchpad button or check your received messages from the Digiline menu of your Digivice. You should also reply to your messages when you receive one that needs a reply. Okay, let's see. Digiline? Did I surprise you? But that's what the Digiline is about, you know? Let's try using simple phrases you can learn from friends and clients. The Digimon on the farms will be ecstatic if you respond to their Digiline messages. I can reply to her? How do I reply? Got it. will be ecstatic. Okay. Yeah, I replied to her. My level is... Level... I can't... I mean, I would assume it's two, but the number... The number's not there. Uh, uh, whatever. Let's move on. What is this? Register to field guide. Scan data of new Digimon will be collected and the Digimon will be registered to the field guide of your Digivice. At the Digilab, you can convert and detailed, browse detailed data by making friends with the Digimon through Digivolution and D-Digivolution. Only register detailed data browsing possible. Scan data. Okay. Wait, so how do I scan them? Oh, I am at level 7. Really? I thought it was at level 2. Hmm. I can't, I can't spend too much time figuring this out, though. No, I'm not going to escape. I'm not going to run. Okay, so I scanned them. Oh, Alright, that's good. So I do have a Coromon. Avatar part. 
All right, let's. Hmm. Let me see. I just want to check the Digimon field guy. No, this isn't it. It's not what I'm looking for. Not the Digimon either. Digimon. Yeah, I know I saw seven on my Digimon's level, but I couldn't believe it because I thought I started out with a level one Digimon, and then it turned into level two after that last after one of the battles from a while ago. Basically, I felt I haven't been doing much training. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll just have to deal with that later. Let's see what's up. What I'm not gonna do is a video showing you various battles. Or or maybe I could do that just because oh wow. Uh just because of the body parts issue that I need to pick up. Digimon have all types and abilities, each within their own affinity. A Digimon's type is shown in a mark in the upper left part of the stats, and its attribute is displayed by color. In a mark on the upper left part of the stats. Okay, during target selection, good affinity is shown with a red target ring. Bad affinity is shown with a blue target ring. Consider affinities when choosing who to attack. Hmm, good affinity. There are four attributes. Virus, vaccine, data, and free. Okay, that's new. Let's see, the triangle. Beneficial, bad affinity. No relation, free. Attacks from a type with good affinity inflict double damage, while attacks from a type with bad affinity inflict only half damage. Attacks with good attributes inflict 1.5 times the normal damage. Attacks with skills reflect the attribute of said skills. Wow. Alright, that's a little bit of a, of a handful of information to take in. Try that again. Sweet! And I only got a slight boost. Got avatar part? Okay. Let's keep going. Any avatar parts here? Yes, there are. I want to capture this one. Types of abnormal statuses. Allies and enemies can suffer from abnormal statuses in battle. Abnormal statuses have unique effects such as draining HP every turn or altering stats. Abnormal statuses are undone at the end of the battle. Ends with turn. Let's see. Confused, paralyzed, sleep, stun. No self healing poison, dot, change into sprite. Oh, I know that one from Redigitize and Digimon World 1. Bug, reverse type, affin affinity. Reduces SPD. Wow. Special points. I, I don't know what SP stands for. Stat changes, such as an increased attack or lower defense, continue for 5 turns after activation. Activating the same stat change during this period will reset the turn count to 5 turns and stack the effect. So for five turns, I would have to tolerate this. Oh, so I got Pabumon as well. Let's check my messages. Whoop, wrong one. I am I'm gonna have some trouble getting used to that. There we go. Such a quick reply, I'm impressed. Guess you get to a reply to a reply sometimes. 
Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so if I can't go this way... Nope, I can't. Okay, I'm in a pickle here. Maybe I can look for avatar parts somewhere else. be going the wrong way. Kowloon. Maybe I am. I don't know. I'm gonna go to the Digi Farm. Go to the Digi Lab. Yes. Oh well first let's talk to Mire. See what she has to say. Okay. Did you convert? Pop convert pop Yes. From an egg to a Digimon. Convert Coralmon. Yeah, I want to use an Agumon, and then a Greymon, and then a Metal Greymon, and then a War Greymon. Okay, sweet. Load Digimon. What can I do here? Okay. Now I want to move him to Party Digimon. I want to move empty to, let me see, Babumon. I want to battle them. Party memory, 9 of 20. Alright. Options. Sort by memory use. Terriermon will be first. Let's see if I can digivolve them. Attack 30 is required. How much attack does this one Defense 15. Wow, I have to be really careful. I don't want to lose that Digimon. I converted already. Load. Okay, there's nothing more I can do. Judging from all these mechanics. Do I want Yeah, no, I don't want to recover. I don't have farm goods. Let's see. Terminal. So let's buy something if we can. Nope. I'd have to have a significant more amount of currency in order to buy something. Okay, but there, nothing nothing has helped so far. I, there's nothing else I can do. I have Avatar part. Oh, wait, what is this? Digital network. Okay, I'm going to stop here. See you guys in the next video.